What's up guys, the PetXVI here and welcome to my tutorial on the new Corel Video Studio Pro X5. Um, for most of you who have the X4, um, I recommend upgrading to the X5 only because of the process, uh, the, the, the rendering and the processing rate is way faster. So like when you're rendering a clip, it is it's so much faster it's way faster and then when you want to watch a video on <coughs> sorry when you want to watch a video on um when you want to preview it as a clip uh it plays so much faster than from the x4 it it it's about at least like 10 times faster i mean it is fast i mean there's no more glitching there's no more playing the clip and then it doesn't play it because it's too uh your computer can handle it with the X5 it, it helps a lot and um, and also if you have a really good computer and a fast computer you're able to if you want to you can view you can view uh, let's see hold on you can view it in 60 uh, frames per second so you can view your clips enable 60p slash 50p editing so when you edit videos uh, it's gonna edit them in like really fast uh, it's gonna use up a lot of your your, your like your processor rate is gonna go up really fast. Um, let me open up Task Manager and your performance. See, mine's already at eighty some percent, and I'm not even doing anything yet. And like I'm not even uploading a rendering, and it's already at that because if you were to watch the clip, it it shows in really good high quality as well. And and um, also as well. The settings, I'm going to give you the right settings that you need to use for Corel. Um, you're going to keep everything the same on the first page. You're going to go to edit. Make sure your the resampling quality is on best. And keep everything else the same. Capture, keep it the same performance. Make sure it says enable smart proxy after 72040. It's the same thing. Uh, uncheck auto generate. Go to options. And um, you're going to go down to here. Make sure it's frame based. And everything else is the same. And go to compression. Make sure your your compression is at 70. Make sure you pick it up to 100. Uh, it is going to be the quality is going to be better, but the 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 file size is going to be bigger. Uh, you might want to keep this on variable because I'm not sure 8,000 if 8,000 uh, video data rate if that's a good video data rate to keep it at constant. So I'm just keeping mine at variable from now until I can until I know if I can pick it up higher if it'll look better. I'm not sure. And then your audio, keep it at don't buy digital audio and then keep it at 200, 226 or you can pick it up a little bit higher if you want better audio doesn't doesn't really matter and then that's basically it make sure you enable all these hardware uh, accelerations so when you re sample videos when you upload videos it's going to uh, accelerate faster and your CPU is going to be faster and it's just going to do things faster than before so you wouldn't be having any, that much of a lag and um that's about it guys um I'm really liking this new um uh, screen capture they have that's what I'm using right now and the voiceover I've always used that you could take Corel Video Store Pro X5 is a pretty good um really good uh editing software just to get you by um you know Sony Vegas is you know way better but that costs like a shitload of money but um there are some people online who you can get this for free you, it's called a key uh, a keygen code go look that up if you want it for free uh, I had to just download the trial and then they explain to you how to get it for free. But that's all I'm saying. You can go check it out. I don't want to get in trouble because I'm not saying anything. Alright, guys, if you like this video, uh, please leave a like. And if you want some more uh, tutorials on how to uh, edit uh, some videos, like, you know, how to do a, a, a just a regular edit or in a professional edit. So if, you're, if you already know how to do this stuff pretty good, then I'll do like a beginner's edit and then a and then uh, edit for people who are already professional at this stuff. So, alright guys, if you like this video, leave a like and leave a comment as well.